ESA Space Rider is a reusable spacecraft that is designed to carry payloads to and from low Earth orbit, LEO, at a low cost and on a regular basis. Isn't it cool? Turin, December 9, 2020. Fails Alenia Space. Thales 67%, Leonardo 33%, and AVIO as co-contractor. Signed a contract with the European Space Agency, ESA for the development of the automated reusable space rider transportation system designed for deployment by the new Vega C light launcher into low Earth orbit, LEO. The total worth of the contract is 167 million euros. ESA space rider will not carry astronauts, but will instead focus on carrying payloads such as scientific experiments, Earth observation satellites, and telecommunications satellites. Orbital ESA Space Rider will be able to operate in LEO, which is the region of space that is closest to Earth. Lifting Body ESA Space Rider will have a smooth, rounded shape that will allow it to generate lift as it flies through the atmosphere. This will allow it to land on a runway, like an airplane. Affordable and routine access to space. After completing its mission, Space Rider will de and land on a runway where its payloads can be recovered. ESA Space Rider is designed to be a reusable vehicle, which will help to lower the cost of space access. It is also designed to be able to launch and land on a regular basis, which will make it easier for scientists and industry to conduct space experiments and activities. Let's dig down history of Euporian Space Agency. The European Space Agency has a program called the Future Launch Device Readiness Program, FLPP, which called for submissions of reusable space planes. One of the proposals was by the Italian Space Agency, which presented its own program for reusable orbital demonstrators in Europe, the PRIDE program, with a precursor called the Intermediate Experimental Vehicle, IXV. Its consequence, Space Rider Development. Initially approved by the ESA in 2016, the project will be led by the Italian Aerospace Research Center, CIRA. Fellas Alenia Space and Lockheed Martin were tasked with completing the design by 2019. In November 2017, ESA approved funding for Thales Alenia Space and AVO to build the Reentry Module and Service Module, respectively. In late November 2019, the project was fully approved by ESA and will be primarily funded by Italy. And in December 2020, ESA signed a contract with co-primary contractors Thales Alenia Space and AVO for Space. How ESA impacts on SpaceX in space exploration. SpaceX has revolutionized the space exploration industry by launching their Falcon 9 rockets and developing the reusable, cost-effective Starship rocket. They have demonstrated their ability to launch payloads into space at a fraction of the cost of traditional space exploration companies. And this has forced ESA to reconsider their approach to space exploration. ESA has responded by embracing new technologies and seeking out collaborations with private space companies. ESA has partnered with SpaceX on several projects, including the development of satellite networks and the launch of a satellite mission to study the sun. ESA has also developed their own reusable launch vehicle, the Vega C, and is utilizing SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket for future missions. Success of SpaceX and Ease Collaboration Since the start of the partnership in 2015, SpaceX and ESA have worked together to push the boundaries of what's possible in the realm of space exploration. Most notably, SpaceX has provided launch services for ESA's scientific missions, while ESA has contributed funding and technical expertise to SpaceX's efforts to develop more cost-effective and efficient launch vehicles. SpaceX and ESA's partnership is a shining example of what international cooperation can achieve. In just a few years, they've launched satellites, developed rockets, and pushed the boundaries of space exploration. But the journey is far from over. Chandrayaan-3 is just one of many exciting space missions on the horizon. And with SpaceX and ESA working together, we can only imagine what the future holds.
So stay tuned to our channel for the latest updates on Chandrayaan-3 and other space missions. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Till then, keep exploring and keep sharing.